So I'm going to leave this screen up for just a second. Those of you with laptops, feel free to enter in this bit.ly link if you'd like. You can kind of follow along. I've got some sort of crib notes in this presentation going on simultaneously. I uh, did try to pass out some slips earlier in the day so that folks could maybe get a head start. We'll see if that works out. So the goal for this is we're going to be doing two things. One, talking about the case study, in this case, how to democratize an emerging technology. And two, uh, is hopefully we're going to actually kind of launch this uh, instance, this augmented reality instance, live in the next uh, probably four minutes, 45 seconds, give or take. So moving right ahead. So obstacles. So the idea is we wanted to do an augmented reality experience, uh, an instance, if you will. Uh, I was approached by a professor in the uh, architectural history department at Brown, and we wanted to put something together. But the problem was is that we couldn't really spend any money. We didn't really have access to anybody who could code. And we also didn't really have a lot of knowledge about it ourselves. So we kind of had to juggle these three things. And so we had to come up with a solution that could kind of meet these three uh, uh, hurdles. So here's what we came up with. Let's use freely accessible, easily to know, easily to learn technologies, specifically Google Maps, Google Sites, and Wikitude. So that's the formula. That's how we put everything together. So what does that look like? Well, here is a screen cap of the map that the students came up with. Uh, there are, I think, over 300 instances here. Uh, this is something that was done over the course of a semester. So students were able to go in. They were able to add points. It was really great. Uh, they were then actually able to use Google Sites to add some rich content. So there were some hurdles we had to overcome as far as what the limitations of Wikitude were. And I'll talk about those a little bit. That's also on the site if you want to kind of jump ahead and get a spoiler. So here's just a quick little example of uh, what that would look like on the phone. So I just kind of did a little screen cap. So this is the Granoff Center, which is uh, our wonderful new little building on Brown Campus. So, all right. That is it for what we did. Now let's talk about what we have right now. So here's our current map. So you can see we've got a few points here. So being so close to Boston, I figured I'd give some folks uh, some tips on some local things to check out. Miters uh, for MIT folks, really good group. Uh, also, uh, my favorite, the, uh, let's see here, the Sunset Grill. I don't know if anyone's ever been there. Definitely recommend it if you can. Let's see if anyone's updated it. So I'm just going to go to my places really quickly. And let's check out augmented reality for the masses. Any new users? Hmm, it doesn't look like it. Well, if you want to know how to do it, really simple. We click edit, and we can just start dropping pins. I'm not going to do that right now, just because I'm you know, a little too pressed for time to be creative right now. But anyone want to do that right now, what I'll do is I'll promise you from now until the conference ends Friday afternoon, I'm going to keep updating this map. So definitely add stuff later if you would like. So I'm just going to hit done here. So once we've done that, one of the really beautiful things is we have KML, which is the uh, sort of language that Google Maps uses. It's also used by Google Earth. And what's really cool is that Wikitude takes that uh, as a file type. So all you have to do, and this is what I would do in the class, is just upload the KML file. You can actually see my KML file right here. I would upload that before every class, so once a week, update it, and it would automatically update the app. Uh, in fact, to show you how easy it is to update, I actually have right here, some screen caps. So for those of you who have taken the time or who might already have Wikitude on your phones, here's how we do it really quickly. Let's see if it'll start after, no, you have to toggle through. Okay, so uh, what you do is go into your favorite section, just click on uh, right here, all worlds. Uh, that will bring up a little list. Here you can see the nice little NMC world. And here we are, we've got our map view already populated. And once again, just to show you how live and dynamic this is, check that out. So here we are, uh, and we've already kind of updated that view. Now, some caveats, some things to keep in mind. Notice that uh, it's showing the shell station is that way. I'm pretty sure that's not the right direction. It's best if you use it outside. The reason being is metal structures tend to interfere with the magnets. So definitely go outside and practice this instead of uh, getting kind of confused. But there we go. It's really that simple. Uh, there's some additional instructions on the site about using Google Sites for rich content. Um, you can check that out here. It's pretty much all here, including this very presentation. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit and expanding. This is sort of like a meta content that can be associated with this uh, page. So I am done, but because I know you had expressed an interest in ringing the gong, I will now <laughs> read to you a little bit of hipster Ipsum poetry. <laughs> so Quinoa, Freegan, Portland, Bushwick, Occupy, FAP, Odd Future, Next Level, Synth, Sinester, Bicycle Rights, Freegan, Biodiesel, Cred, American Apparel, Truffet, Seenster, Single Origin, Coffee, Direct Trade, New High, Craft Beer, Irony, Swag, Salvage, uh, Salvage, Bushwick, Echo Park, Terry Richardson, uh, Milkshake, Narwhal, Odd Future, Put a Bird on It, uh, Ennui, Squid, Bespoke, Ethnic Guitar, how long do I have to keep this going? 
Okay, um, <laughs> Tumblr, Salvage, Cardigan, Carries, uh, Two Fart, Kitar, Stop Okay. <laughs> Thank you.